y'all. The termination fee was $10,600. I'm not rich. I don't got no $10,000 to pay for no termination fee. So <laughs> that was not an option. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to start seeing yourself the way that God sees you, right? The way that he made you because you are fearfully and wonderfully made, right? A moment of silence for my hair. In something, a relationship, a situationship, a friendship, an area, and you do not have peace that surpasses all understanding, you don't have contentment, then I'm telling you it is not of God because... Y'all, today is a uh, what? Uh, it's 2.22. It's Monday the 27th. So it's been two weeks since I've been here, y'all. I did not vlog last week. Yeah, yeah. Don't come for me, right? I'm new to this. And I really don't even know if I'm going to continue to like vlog. Like if I'm going to really pursue it. Because like, I don't know. Like, do you guys like this? I'm so new to this and stuff like that, but I really just wanted to show you guys like the process of me moving and just making this whole transition and stuff. So today's Monday. Um, I went to the gym earlier today. I actually scheduled my post on Instagram to basically finally share that I made the move. Um, I was gonna share it when I was doing it, but like I'm very much somebody who doesn't really like to share stuff like when I just did it or like when I'm about to do it because, I don't know, this is something that I just don't like to do. So I'm like, now that it's been two weeks, I feel a little bit more comfortable to share it on my Instagram. I haven't really been active on Instagram, but I'm trying to become more active on there. And I'm like, sis, you done posted like three whole videos talking about moving to another state. To, so I think it's about time that, you know, you just let it be known. Cause people have been hitting me up, like random people that I haven't spoken to in so long have been hitting me up. Oh, you know, are you still in New York? Blah, 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 you know. You know, we should like meet up. And I'm like, I haven't spoken to you in who knows how long. Like, I'm not even there no more. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, it's time for me to share that I have left, right? So I'm gonna do that. Um, but for today, my couch is supposed to be coming. It was supposed to be coming at the ending of this week, all the way to next week. And listen, I don't know, man. Showing out, they really been showing out. Like all my packages have been coming earlier than expected. So I am blessed and I am thankful. And y'all, I know I was telling y'all the last vlog that I was gonna order a TV. So I ordered my TV for Black Friday and it's supposed to come this week, Wednesday. And I ordered the mounts and stuff. So I just gotta find somebody that can mount the TV for me because you know, I was really thinking about trying to mount the TV myself and try to play some Bob the Builder, but uh, I'm not even gonna put myself through that stress because if that TV come falling off the wall or if I mount it crooked, I'm gonna be next. So I have my desk chair supposed to come today and I have my coffee table for my um, dining room. Oh, sorry, girl, what? Not my dining room. I got my coffee table for my living room. I hope I like it because I'm looking at the box right now and it looks kind of big and I don't remember taking measurements and I don't really want a big coffee table. So I don't know. We'll see, hopefully, hopefully. Cause my thing is once I take it off the box, like there's just no going back because I feel like with furniture, like how do you really return furniture? Like once you've taken it and put it together, I'm not taking it apart. Like I'm just gonna have to hate it and just let it sit there. Cause but y'all, let me show you guys what we're working with. So I set up my desk. If you have me on TikTok, I made a video like um, building the desk. Actually I posted on YouTube too, but I built the desk and i got my um, other stuff for the desk yesterday and i put it together and i feel like so much more productive now because i have a desk to work from and i already feel the creative juices flowing and all of that so i'm so excited i'm gonna show y'all the desk but before i show you the desk y'all look at this shirt that i got it says 
it's a sweatshirt and it says unveil the royalty you possess inside i got it at the event that i went to this weekend i wish i could show y'all the back because the back also says like un like it says honor thy crown like it's so cute i love the color of me it's just giving like fall and ah. but yeah i'm all over the place let me stop talking and let me show you guys the desk okay y'all so this is what the desk is giving let me take off my little water bottle but this is what the desk is giving right now yes ghetto i know i've been using this little stool because my chair hasn't come yet this is a standing desk so it does rise i'm gonna show y'all it rising and then you know something that really stresses me out is the cables like i hate seeing cables so i'm probably gonna figure out a cable situation to hide it or honestly i feel like once i get my chair you i like i probably won't even it won't even bother me because i won't really even see the cables like that but this is what it's giving i love it like ever since i set it up yesterday it's just been such a great workspace environment to work from and I'm just like so thankful for it. But I'm gonna show y'all like, this is literally like the part where you can like, you know, you can set like different modes and then you can bring it like up and down. I know y'all see this going up. Y'all see this going up? But y'all don't see this going up because I see it going up, right? Like, you know, like, <laughs> I just love it. Cause like sometimes I don't be wanting to sit down all the time. And honestly, especially or not on this thing, yo, this is really, this stool has been my only sort of seating for the past two weeks. So I'm grateful for this stool, but y'all, I got a little dump in the trunk. Okay, so this thing, this thing ain't really thing what it's supposed to. So I'm ready to get this chair. And honestly, this is a luxury. Like having this is just so, so clutch, y'all, so clutch. So I am so thankful and so grateful to God for allowing me to be able to get another one. But yeah. Oh, and y'all, let me show y'all the, the, what I was talking about for the sweatshirt. So you see how it says, it says, honor thy crown. Like, it's just, it's so cute, so cute, right? And the front says this, and y'all know me, right? If you can't tell by now, just based off of my last vlog, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I love like little motivational, aspirational stuff. Like I love buying things to put around the house or just even stuff like to wear. That just reminds me of who I am. That reminds me to keep going, all right? That's just, <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> let me stop talking and let me go see if I can find this package for real. I found it, y'all. It was in the mail room. This one I got. Do not use knife to open this box. I'm still going to use knife. I don't understand when they be saying don't use knife to open the box. Like, so what do you want me to use? Cause the pieces to the chair it looks relatively simple to put together it is what it is honestly though i'm so ready for me to like have everything so that i can like stop putting together furniture like i'm tired of putting together furniture i'm very much like okay everything needs to come right now so i could just finish <laughs> Just to make your money. Yeah. I come my people, then don't say I don't want buy. I don't want die. I don't want women. I want enjoy. I want your life. I want buy motor. I want build house. I still want to know. Give me tell me. What's it go? G wagon. All depends. Take your 
Y'all, so here is the chair all put together. And I'm about to sit on it and give it a sit test and see what it's giving. All right, let's see what it's giving. Good. I don't know, for me, I low key thought I was gonna fall just now. Bring it up. Okay. Oh, mm. oh my God. I like it. I like it. It's much more comfortable than this thing. But y'all, I just heard a big drop in front of my door. So that means they just delivered the package. I literally looked through the little peephole and I see the humongous box. So that's the couch. So look at us. We getting seating all in one day. God is good because this wasn't even supposed to be delivered today. The couch wasn't supposed to be delivered today either. Like they all just decided to come on the same day. Like... God is good. God is real good. And I got my bar stools coming this week too. So, uh, uh, uh. Honestly, I'm about to take a break. And I'm about to go eat some, uh, something to eat. Get to the couch because I already know. <laughs> it's about to be a whole shabam. It's about to be a whole fiasco putting this couch together. So, um, and just even unboxing the couch and then unbreaking the boxes like that within itself just be labor like just breaking the boxes and having to throw them out that just be a lot so i'm about to go eat first and then this is the tuna trust me it looks a little crazy but it tastes so good you can't even tell that it's green i'm gonna show you a better picture but i basically mixed a big batch and i put the rest of it in the fridge but this that i'm about to eat right now i cut up some avocado and then i put the avocado in here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up on the stove and then put it on the brioche bun. It's going to taste so good, y'all. I'm so used to cooking with gas stoves, right? Because I just feel like gas stoves, I mean, it's real fire. So it, it just heats up much quicker. And I don't know, I just feel like it cooks the food much better. But with an electric stove, like, you really got to wait for that thing to heat up. Like, with a gas stove, as soon as you turn on the fire, 30 seconds, you drop whatever you're going to drop in there, and it's a resi sizzling. I knew people died for nothing. What's it going to be? Oh, it's been. And literally, you're just going to saute this for, like, 30 seconds. Like, you're not trying to do too much with it. You know, brown this and chisel it. Like, you just. All right, y'all. So, this is what it looks like. And I know, it still probably don't look the best. But I'm telling you, it tastes really, really good. Y'all got to give this a try. Y'all. So, the couch is here. Whew. I started unboxing it already. This is pieces of it. Um, I'm nervous, but excited to see how it looks. Hopefully I like it. Also I have to put together the coffee table and I have to go get a rug. So depending what time I finish putting this together, I might go outside and see if I could go find a rug, like an area rug for the living room space. So yeah, well, yeah let's really talk about it. Like all of the boxes that come with buying furniture and moving, like yo, this is not even all of it. Like I threw out a good majority of the boxes, but like, damn, this is just from today. <laughs> so y'all, this is what we're working with right now. This is the couch. It's supposed to fit in this space. Hopefully it does. I think it will though. I really wonder how long this is gonna take me to put together. It is uh, 523. And these are the little what's up, which kind of like the simplest thing. Well, I gotta read this. This thing is humongous, y'all. Why is this so big? Yo, I'm exhausted, okay? Look. <laughs> I put together, what, two things today. Two. I'm going to show y'all what the couch is giving. <laughs> Let me show you guys what the couch is giving. Okay? Listen. I got this throw blanket like last week before I even got the couch. And I was just like, I don't know if it's going to look good on the couch, but the color fits perfectly. So this is what it's giving. 
I'm obviously going to go get some throw pillows and then I'm going to get some artwork to put over here. I decided I think I'm going to put this artwork like right here. So I, hopefully I could find like matching artwork to put up here or maybe just like, I don't know, we'll figure it out because that wall just looks too plain for me. Like something needs to go up there. I don't know what, but we're going to figure it out. I also want to get a area rug for this because I just feel like there needs to be a rug in order for it to be like put together. So I'll go do it tonight, but I'm like, girl, it is already late. Like stay in your home and then I could go tomorrow and see what I could find in store. If I could find some throw pillows and then if I could find like some artwork and stuff like that and hopefully I could find a rug. And then I do have this coffee table that i told y'all i have yet to unbox i am beat so i'm not unboxing that today i think i'm gonna wait until i get my rug so that once my rug is already like laid flat then i'll like unbox the coffee table and stuff like that but i like the couch it is comfortable but right now the couch is really given very much plain given very much yeah plain jane but like once I get all like the decorative pieces, I'm telling y'all it is going to come together perfectly. And just coming over here to this little corner, I did get this little rug um, last week. And the goal is to hopefully put like a full body mirror right here in the corner. So like he is supposed to come this week. So I'm going to mount it over here. And yeah, we're going to do like a whole little vibe. Like it's it's going to be something cute. I'm telling you. So I found this honey garlic seasoning at Walmart, I think. I don't know where I was, but I found it somewhere and it was my first time coming across this seasoning. And I love to cook and y'all, I love, like I had love to have an abundance of different type of seasonings. Like I'm so extra that I go out of my way to like get the, you know, the labels, um, seasoning jars and everything like that, which I'm gonna do soon. But like, you know, let me focus on the bigger stuff. But yeah, I found this honey garlic seasoning and I'm like, ooh, let me see what it's giving. <laughs> I'm about to put this salmon in the air fryer. I know y'all probably need to look at my butt right now. I'm so sorry. So we are going to, I guess, take So we got the rice and all the plates. Then we got my plate for tonight. And I'm about to put the veggies and the salmon. So yeah, this is the sauce. Yeah, I'm measuring out my portion, so I'm going to be doing six ounce servings per plate. Right. This is what the meals is looking like. And here is my plate that I'm about to eat right now. Today's Monday's plate because I was supposed to basically cook from yesterday. So it is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I was hoping I could make for Saturday, but I gotta do a taste test for y'all. 
Um, I have the sweet potatoes still in the oven. I was going to make the steak, but honestly, it is like 10.39, so I'll just cook the steak sometime tomorrow. Like. Yep. I did one with this. I really did. Yo. And I got my little sugar free cranberry juice. <laughs> but it be hitting the spot. Okay. I had to come here and tell y'all this real quick. Yo, this was so good. And that's the key to staying consistent with your meals and meal prepping is making foods that you enjoy right i mean of course be mindful of some stuff you make and i'm not telling you to make you know your mac and cheese every meal prep right but yo like find ways to spice up your foods find different ways and play around with your food right like you can have salmon multiple times within the month but one week you can have a hot honey salmon then the next week you can have like a jerk salmon, yo. I make a mean jerk salmon, y'all. I gotta put y'all on. I make a mean jerk salmon. And you know, another week you can do like a different type of like a creamy salmon, like you know what I mean? So it's just like being able to like try variety in your meals will allow you to stay consistent to like your diet. You know what I mean? But I had to just come on here and say that because that was so good. Oh my God. Like, this is going to be one of the meals that, like, I'm going to look forward to eating every day. Like, that's the best part. When you make food that tastes good, right? And it's also healthy for you, like, you're going to look forward to eating it. Like, it's going to be a treat. And that's something that I really like to advocate because y'all know um, I'm a personal trainer and wellness coach. So, I really want to advocate for just a balanced lifestyle, like balanced eating, because I be feeling like, you know, some people, like, I know they be eating healthy and stuff like that, but they just making it so bland and so boring. Like, let's be honest, if you just cut up a broccoli and eat it, that thing do not taste good. You need to sauce it up. You need to see, <laughs> you need to season it. So, like, I'm a big advocate for seasoning your food, making it taste good, right? because what you put in your body is going to fuel you but you know life is too short to not enjoy what you eating right of course there's going to be certain things that you're going to eat regardless that you may not enjoy to eat right because you know it's good for you but for the most part life is too short to not enjoy your food so let me know below if y'all want me to share some recipes okay because I got y'all like I will show y'all like full and detailed cooking videos of me like making the meals and giving y'all like tips and tricks on like how to meal prep and blah 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 like I got y'all with the whole nine if you want because I'm really passionate about this stuff and you know I want people to you know health is wealth and I want you to be able to not only be healthy but also enjoy what you're eating while you're doing it as well and find like different fun and innovative ways in order for you to like spice up your foods and like spice up your meals but going on a quick sidebar real quick well not really a sidebar but speaking of food and spices so y'all know i'm haitian right and i like to make a lot of caribbean foods i like to make a lot of haitian food a lot of jamaican food honestly because um i had a lot of jamaican friends um and like they have a lot of influence on me to be honest so there's like what those are the two like cuisines i love to make haitian food and jamaican food like oh i'm telling you i could throw it down in the kitchen and i'm here in dallas and i'm just like where is the like if you're from new york and you're watching my video you know and you're caribbean too you know like in new york there is never a shortage of certain supermarkets where they have all these different caribbean seasonings they're gonna have the scotch bonnet the allspice the green seasoning 
right? It's gonna have all of that, like, and you're gonna be able to find it in a plethora of supermarkets, right? You're gonna have like the little Asian supermarkets that are gonna sell like the fruits and veggies, and then you got like, and then they have like the Caribbean seasonings. But even if you go to like a key food or something like that, you know they still got them Caribbean seasonings. Like, it's so easy to find. But I don't know, like, if I'm just not going to the right places, y'all. But here in Texas, like it's just in Texas, it's not the same. Like I don't know if it's just there's not that many Caribbeans. Like, cause y'all know in New York, like we got like Haitians, Jamaicans, Grenadians, Trinidadians. Like we got all, we got all of them. <laughs> so I don't know if like in like Texas, like that's not really the case like that. So they don't have it in abundance. But so far, like I have not found like a supermarket or grocery store that sells like those caribbean ethnic like seasonings and spices and i'm a little bit tight i'm a little bit salty because i'm like that's what i live and thrive off of and that's what makes my food so good because i like utilize those spices so I'm hoping that like as I try different grocery stores, I can find like the jackpot and find one that has um, those specific like seasonings and spices that I need. But honestly, if not, my mother is coming like I think in December. I'm about to have a tell her, listen, pack up your suitcase with this, 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 all of the seasonings and bring it with you because I cannot go without. I cannot go without but i'm done talking to y'all for real for real i'm about to as i said clean up and go to bed like Good morning, y'all. Y'all, I know y'all probably just tired of hearing me say that. Like, I am getting ready to go to the gym. My hair looks crazy because I did not braid it back up last night. So, yeah. This day is Tuesday the 28th. Y'all, my birthday <laughs> is on Saturday. <laughs> I look, I, my nails look scary. I have a nail appointment on, uh, on Thursday, which is the 30th. I'm about to go to the gym real quick and then I will see y'all back in, I don't know, like an hour or so. <laughs> fit for the day something real calm and this little bag that i keep rocking everywhere and we got our little wagon and we out here so y'all i'm trying to find artwork for to go over the couch this is like something similar to what i have already so i was thinking to get this as like a matching piece i also found this rug Five by seven and it's only thirty dollars. So I'm gonna look for some throw pillows. But honestly, even if I don't find it here, I think this was a success. All right, y'all. I'm back home. So I just changed into like you know some short sleeves and some shorts because I'm about to sauce up this living room area so let me show y'all what i got right yeah this cart clutch okay clutch i'm telling you one trip mommy i don't gotta go back and forth to the car multiple times so two velvet throw pillows said he's like gold beige looking ones what else did i get from dds oh, 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 oh so yeah i got this artwork here we go y'all is this area rug and i only got it for 30 dollars 
thirty dollars. This is why I said it's a good thing I went to Dee Dee's first before I went to Target. I mean, I wasn't gonna buy that rug at Target for hundred dollars anyway. But this similar type of rug, I when I after when I went to Target, I was passing the rug section, and I was like, okay, let me look at the rug section and see what it's giving and how much. A hundred and twenty dollars. A hundred and twenty dollars. And I got this for twenty nine ninety nine at Dee Dee's. And I got this a fake plant, two of these baskets, right? So I'm gonna put one in the bedroom and one in the living room. And it's just gonna be basically baskets to hold like the throw pillows because you know, obviously the throw pillows is for the aesthetic. But you know, when you're using the bed and using the couch, you wanna put it away and I don't wanna put it on the floor. Got this little diffuser for my face. And that's about that on that. So I'm about to decorate the living room. Hopefully it comes out cute. Based on like me looking at the couch and everything right now, I think it's going to look really, really good. So I'm excited to put it together. I'm going to probably give y'all a little montage of me putting that together. And then I also have the coffee table that I had showed y'all previously that's been sitting here for a few days. So I think I'm going to also put that together because like, why not? You know, get it out the way. So... Yeah. Yeah. It is giving. I don't know if y'all could tell. I feel like the camera not really doing it justice. Let me turn on the light for y'all. Cause it. Uh -oh. I don't know. Oh my god. I have so many damn light switches. But y'all. It is giving. Hey y'all, good morning. Today is Wednesday, November 29th. I just got up and I like, you know, brush my teeth and stuff like that or wash my face. I'm about to go to the gym in just a couple of minutes, but I wanted to come here this morning because, you know, I was, I got every morning when I wake up, I do like my devotional. So I read my devotional for the day and then I'll typically pray. And then usually like I'll sit and just have like some quiet time with God to kind of just be like, you know what, God, what you want to say to me today? Like, what are you trying to communicate with me today? Um, blah, 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 right? And I felt like, you know, God was telling me to come here and just share this with y'all, right? Like, just, I don't know. I'm gonna just let it speak freely and flow. But basically what I wanted to share was just that, like, if you're watching this, whoever you are, I'm gonna need you to start seeing yourself the way that God sees you, Right? the way that he made you because you are fearfully and wonderfully made right there's a lot of us including myself right especially in this previous season i lost my confidence and i was constantly in a state of negative self-talk and i really just really wasn't seeing myself the way that god made me <laughs> but then i had revelation after a while where it was like you have to walk in that Godfidence, right? You have to see yourself the way that I created you, right? The way that I made you to be that woman that I've created to you to be. Because in order for you to fully step into the things that God is calling you to step into, in order for you to fully receive all the things that God is calling you to receive and steward them, you need to be able to see yourself as qualified. You need to be able to see yourself as capable um, to receive those things handle those things and I feel like for a lot of us especially if we have like these big goals and these big dreams 
Like you need to first see yourself the way that God sees you because in order to step into certain rooms and certain environments, listen, they they don't try to test you in those environments and in those rooms. But you need to know who you are in God and you need to know who God called you to be, right? Um, and you need to have that confidence to go after everything that God called you to go after. And even when people might try to come, the naysayers, and be like, oh, you're not qualified. Oh, you can't do this. Or who you think you are. Listen, I know who I am through God. So don't come and play with me, okay? That's who I think I am. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. I don't even know if y'all really understood what I was trying to say or even my message was conveyed properly, but that's just what I wanted to share. So whoever is listening to this, you need to start seeing yourself the way that God sees you. Go look in the mirror, sweetheart, and go start speaking some I am affirmations over yourself. Okay, let's redirect that mindset. Let's redirect that shift. Stop talking so bad about yourself, babes, because you are beautiful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are one of a kind. You are deserving. And that's on period. I'll be making some breakfast. This is my um, base for the French toast that I'm about to make. And then this is my eggs. I'm about to make an omelet. And then, yeah, I'm about to put these in the omelet. So some green peppers and some onions and scallions. And then my bacon is up in the air fryer. I got me some turkey bacon. I was putting a little bit extra this morning, you know? So I'm like, let me make a little cute, cute breakfast. It's giving. Okay. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got me my sugar-free syrup. Anyway, my sugar-free syrup and a little bit of ketchup for the eggs because yes, I like ketchup for my eggs. Let's see what it's hitting for. So I normally don't like to pour my syrup on the plate, especially if everything's on the same plate. So I'm gonna pour it in here. This is a good syrup alternative if y'all trying to lose weight and be mindful of your calories. Cause look, 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 only 15 calories for two tablespoons. So yeah, and normal syrup has like almost 100 calories in just two tablespoons. So I put y'all on what it's looking like, hold on. It's giving what I need to give. A firm advocate, don't get me wrong, I like to go out to eat, you know, keep it cute, but you should not be eating other people's food more than you eat your own food. Like your body is your temple. And I feel like cooking for yourself. I know cooking could be a little bit time consuming and tedious, but I feel like cooking for yourself is a form of self love and self care, right? Because you just take time to make food for your body and fuel it. And like, you kind of just romanticize it sometimes. Make the food look pretty, like put a little bit of, you know, honestly, I was about to get some bananas and cut up the bananas and put it on the French toast and get some berries in the fridge and put it on here and be extra. I was really about to do all that, but I was like, nah, nah, I don't need all that extra stuff. But still, presentation was given what it was supposed to give, right? Romanticize your food, make it look good so that you want to actually eat it. You know what I mean? hey y'all so i'm showered and dressed um you know i got my little house crocs on i still have yet to get house slippers and i'm probably not gonna get house slippers at this point like i've gotten used to the crocs but my tv is here so this is the tv i got a 58 and i'm gonna put it up right here on this wall so i gotta come and get somebody to come in uh put it up i'm like should i just put it up myself but no nah, i'm not gonna do that because <laughs> If that thing come out crooked, I could only be mad at myself. So yeah, and then that's the mount for it as well. So I'm gonna unbox it when I come back later because I'm about to go out real quick after. Yeah, so this is the fit for to. Oh, where's my shoes? Oh my God. I gotta sweep. I'm tired of all these damn boxes because it's just like, I feel like I have to sweep like every two seconds. Yeah, 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 right. Okay, y'all, so we having a little car chat, okay? I'm on my way to Home Goods right now, and we're in traffic. Um, so I'm like, let me just back out and speak to y'all, because I was just thinking in my head just now, 
and I felt like God was just like, yo, come out and share this. Because again, like a lot of stuff that I'm sharing and posting with y'all is so that God gets so that God gets the glory in all of it, right? Because his will not mine. Okay. But y'all, y'all, I have to tell y'all. So I just moved. Y'all know I just moved like, you know, two weeks ago or whatever. And basically I was living in um my last place the last place that i was living at before i moved here i only lived there for like five months or so right and i i moved there because you know i had gotten like distracted and sidebar and ended up in like a relationship and we moved in together and all of the whole nine i was just in my little era of disobedience right <laughs> so i ended up moving into my previous place back in new york and i had signed a 15 month lease y'all a 15 month lease <laughs> and you know like once you sign a lease like you ain't finna break the lease easy one two three right because if you like break a lease you're either gonna be financially obligated to pay the the remaining amount for the duration of the lease or there have there'll be like penalties and whatever whatever but y'all yeah, I was believing in God when I felt like God was really telling me, Johanna, you can break the lease. You can go. I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to pave the way. So I did. I walked in crazy faith. I walked by faith and not by sight. Right. And they have this option for breaking the lease. So they have two options. They have one option where you just pay the termination fee, which y'all, the termination fee was $10,600. I'm not rich. I don't got no $10,000 to pay for no termination fee. So <laughs> that was not an option. <laughs> so the second option, I'm going under a tunnel. So the lighting is a little bit bad right now. But so the second option was you're going to move out. And initially, when you move out, you're not going to pay anything. But you're still technically on the line for the rent. Right? You're still on the line for the rent. On. let me see what's going on in here okay you're still on the line for the rent but you're basically leaving in hopes that somebody else will rent your apartment relatively soon right so if somebody doesn't rent your apartment in a specific time frame then you're still going to be liable to pay them rent each month and y'all my rent was like thirty eight hundred dollars right and granted i was splitting that rent with the person that i was with previously but being that i was moving and i'm doing this on my own i was going to be the only one ob obligated or el i mean responsible to pay off that 3800 dollars every month because he was not going to be paying half of me anymore because you know we kind of left off on you know some rocky shaky terms and even like the last month of rent he didn't help me pay or nothing but you know whatever we're not gonna be talking down to anybody so let me just forget about that part but basically, y'all, so I picked the second option, which was the accelerated rent option. So I moved out saying, you know what? I hope that somebody rents out this apartment so that I don't have to be responsible to pay the rent, y'all. Y'all. And that was just walking by faith and not by sight. And even when I had said that I was going to do that option, people were looking at me like I was crazy. Like, yo, what? You're going to just go off of the hope that somebody's going to rent the apartment? Like, what if somebody doesn't rent it? But I literally just kept saying to myself, like, if God called me to do something, he is not going to forsake me. He is going to make the way. Y'all, y'all. And lo and behold, God made the way. I, yo, y'all, I was praying I was praying non-stop about this because even once I finally made it here, like last week, I got an email from the apartment complex saying that this is my balance that I have due. And the balance was basically saying that I had to pay rent, the $3,800 of rent up until August of 2024. So that was like probably like more than ten thousand dollars like probably fifteen thousand dollars total and when i saw that email i kind of got in a bad mood i really did get in a bad mood because i was like damn god like you really call me out here like what am i gonna do like what, what was gonna happen but i still kept good spirits and i still kept praying and i was like god you did not call me this far to forsake me and leave me i i did this because i felt like you were calling me to be obedient you were calling me to step out on faith 
so guys show up and show out y'all y'all why i called them yesterday just to check up because you know the first is coming around and i don't want to have my stuff sent to collections or anything so i called them yesterday they didn't pick up the phone but i got a call back today and i saw the phone ringing and i knew who was calling me and i while i was answering the phone a little bit of doubt was like watch they say that my apartment hasn't been rented because i basically called them and left a voicemail saying hey you know i'm calling to check in i moved out a few weeks ago and i wanted to see you know what's like the update on my apartment why the lady told me <laughs> that the apartment has been rented and the new attendants are scheduled to move in on the 30th which is tomorrow before the first but which is tomorrow tomorrow granted you know all goes well they actually do have to move in tomorrow and hopefully they do but you know what i, I i'm trusting in god and believing that listen he finna show out and y'all not only did they find a tenant scheduled to move in for tomorrow the tenant is paying more in rent than I did so that means I shouldn't be responsible for anything at all God willing right because the thing was was like okay if somebody does rent the apartment if they ended up let's say I told y'all my rent was like 3800 let's say they were renting the apartment for 35 I was gonna have to pay the difference so like a $300 difference up until like august so for the amount of months times 300 that difference i was gonna have to pay that difference because technically they're renting the apartment for a lesser value so the apartment complex would be at a deficit but y'all y'all not only did they find a tenant to rent the apartment but the tenant is paying slightly more than i did so hopefully i shouldn't have a balance at all to pay God, guys right before the first right because the first is when the rent would have had been due i told y'all i had got a freaking email talking about this is my my bill <laughs> y'all god is good god is good god is good i just have to come here and just share that with y'all because god gets the glory in all of this i don't but all i can just say is thank you god <laughs> I just wanted to come in here and share that with this with y'all. And that's just, I'm going to just drop the mic. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. And if you are seeking God for something and you feel like it hasn't come into pass yet, keep walking by faith. Keep praying. And I'm talking about praying relentlessly. Pray without ceasing. And pray in the space of thanksgiving. Thanking God before you even received it, right? Listen, listen, y'all. My God is good all the time, all the time. My, yeah, yeah, my, my. I ain't got a clue, bro. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yard. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Praying to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Try to be fine, but I can't be. No, he's in my So I had them put the mirror. I popped the seats in the back and the mirror fits. I found the perfect mirror. I'm gonna show it to y'all when I get home. Y'all, so this is where I put little ottoman. And as I told y'all, it comes with storage. Then y'all, the mirror. The mirror, y'all. I unbuckled my belt, so ghetto. But I love the mirror, okay? Guys, get into the details. Like, it's like this beaded material. Like, the literally, the name of the mirror is beaded mirror. Something like that. So I put the plant over here, and I think I like it better. I think it's giving what it's supposed to give. Now I am unboxing this TV. Y'all, I know, I'm back again talking about the comments, but like, I'm reading all of them because it's not that many, but the ones that I'm getting, I really appreciate y'all. Like, I guess I'm about to feature, okay, Lynn11-02. Shout out to you. 
Ari, Alicia1138, shout out to y'all. You know, thank you so much for commenting. I really just appreciate all the comments that I've been getting. Like, you know, me, let me turn the camera around. Honestly, like me just even recording these vlogs, like I was just doing it because I felt like God was telling me to record the journey and record the process. And you know, like, I didn't think anybody would watch them. I'm really being fully transparent. I was like, who's going to watch this? Like, who better watch this hour and 44 minute long vlog? And to actually see people commenting saying that y'all are here and y'all are watching it, like, means the world to me, right? And just hearing that, like, you know, you enjoyed it or that it's making you think that you want to move or whatever the case may be. Like, it really just means a lot. So I just really want to come here and just say, I appreciate y'all, right? Like, I appreciate the little five, six, seven, ten comments that I'm getting. Okay, listen, you got to be a steward of the few. And I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So if y'all are watching this, know that I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate y'all for commenting, not just watching but commenting, okay? <laughs> but that's pretty much what I have to say. But have a good night, y'all, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So we are coming here with a force, yeah. Blessing they are reap and we go it's in a handful. We're in a rise on board. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. Yeah, we give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful. Hey, beautiful people. Oh my gosh, I'm in the car and my car be shaking sometimes. So sorry for the unstableness of this video. But good morning, y'all. How y'all doing today? Today is November 30th and I am on my way to go get my nails done. It is like a 30 minute drive from where I live, which is like, it's like 29 miles. So it's kind of far from where I live. But you know, you know the little Texas roads, so you know, 29 miles ain't, it's far, but it's not really far, like that's normal for like people, I guess, living in states like this. So I'm on my way to get my nails done because y'all know my nails was looking crusty dusty. I finally took, oh, they look scary. I don't even know why I had the audacity to put the camera to y'all right now and show y'all, but I'm getting my toes done and my fingers done hoping that you know all goes well and I like my nails and stuff like that and that it's a good experience because honestly y'all I hate getting my nails done like I love having my nails done but I hate the process of actually getting it done like I hate sitting down in the chair and just waiting for them to do all the filing and chopping and all of that like it's just you know what I mean like it's just so time consuming and I'll be feeling like I'll be in a nail salon for like more like it's like no less than three hours like why so much time of my life just in the nail salon oh girl oh my god I almost died just now hi I'm about to head, I'm about to leave. I need to go find an outfit, y'all. I do not know what I'm doing yet, but I'm about to just go buy an outfit and we'll just figure it out so i don't know where i'm gonna go but i want to get like maybe a dress or like a little two-piece and i want to keep it very simple very basic and y'all i'm also going to go to the beauty supply store because i decided that i'm gonna do my hair myself yeah i wanted to go and book a professional so y'all like i'm sorry i don't know how to act i'm trying to let me focus on it i don't know how to act it's not focusing <laughs> i don't know how to act i'm about to be talking with my hands because i got my nails on but 
I decided that I'm gonna do my own silk press um, just because I just can't afford right now to go and pay like a hundred and something dollars to do my hair and I know it's not gonna last that long just because I go to the gym a lot and I'm gonna sweat it out so I'd rather just take the time and just do it myself and you know once it's sweat out it's sweat out like if it sweats out in three days I won't even feel away because I didn't pay no crazy money for it like I have a flat iron at home I got a blow dryer if I need any additional hair products I'll just go to the beauty supply store and pick that up and just do it myself and you know it'll come out cute by the grace of God so period I'm in Dillard's y'all um and I've never been to a Dillard's I see they have a lot of them here in Texas and I'm gonna see if I can find something cute, but I think they're gonna be really expensive, so I probably am not gonna get anything from here, but we'll see what it's giving. Oh, so I found a dress and I found heels but like I feel like I'm about to pass out so I'm about to get something to eat because y'all I am starving and the last time I ate was before I left my house which is at 9 o'clock right y'all welcome we are back oh Jesus Christ. I almost break the TV okay anyways but <laughs> I am back. I've been back for a little bit minute now, but I was just on the phone with one of my friends um, and also former coworkers and we were just talking and like she was just talking to me about like, you know, how, you know, she wants to start reading the Bible more and she wants to get closer to God and she felt like she kind of like, you know, went back on her commitment to God and she feels like, you know, God is not going to accept her back or something like that. And I was literally telling like, girl, that's what the enemy wants you to think. Uh, but that's not the case. God is waiting for you. If anything, he is more than happy and excited that you want to finally turn to him. I know that maybe you never had a relationship with him. I know maybe you had some sort of relationship with him. But for some reason, because of church hurt, because of whatever happened in the past, you may have walked away. But I'm telling you that, look, God is not about to tell you, oh, because you walked away or because you never had a relationship with me that you can't have old me now okay whenever you choose and you're ready to step in that that relationship and that communion with God go right ahead because he is waiting for you right if you want to start reading the bible more often you but you don't know how to read it pray to God and ask God like God give me the strength give me the wisdom give me the courage uh, to be able to read it right because listen when I first started I did not know how to read the bible okay <laughs> So I'm just saying, I'm going on a tangent, but I literally had to say that because maybe somebody needs to hear that, okay? You may have strayed away. You may feel like you got so far from him. But listen, God ain't never too far. He's there. He's always willing and waiting for whenever you decide on your own that you want to have a relationship with him because he's not going to force you to. You have that free will, baby. So you got to decide on your own strength that, look, I want to do this life with God. I want to walk this walk with God and he going to be there waiting for you, babes. You just got to say the word. You got to say the word. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I am about to go to the gym because um, I didn't get to go this morning because, you know, I have my nail appointment and stuff and I ended up going to the mall and all of that. So now that I'm back, I cannot miss a workout, y'all, because, listen, I feel like somebody needed to hear this too. Listen, this body that you have here, right, God blessed you with this body and he wants you to take care of it being a good steward of your health being a good steward of what you put in your body moving your body being active is also a way to glorify god right being in your um fitness and being in tune with that is also a way to glorify god so i don't know who needs to hear this but you need to get yourself back up and going, right? I'm not telling you you got to go lift the heaviest weights out here, but huh, start cleaning up your diet, right? Start eating better. Start being more active. You cannot be sitting around all day and, and then be wondering why you're facing all these health conditions and all these health issues. Look, 
the, the reason why I even got involved in becoming a personal trainer and, you know, learning about becoming a nutrition coach and all that was because my family has a history of diabetes, high blood pressure, you know, hypertension, high cholesterol, all of that. And, you know, I had a health scare a couple of years ago because I used to eat horrible. I'm going to be transparent with you. Growing up, my upbringing wasn't the greatest. So, you know, um, I didn't have home cooked meals. I was eating out 24 seven. I'm talking about bacon, egg and cheese for breakfast. I'm talking about Chinese food, chicken wings, French fries. I'm talking about Chinese food, chicken wings, French fries for lunch. I'm talking about if I wanted some Dunkin Donuts for dessert, I'm gonna go there and get a donut. I'm literally saying I was eating all of that, right? And yeah, that food tastes good, but listen, it's gonna slow you down, right? That food is what leads to that diabetes, what leads to that hypertension and high cholesterol. I know that some of y'all may not wanna hear it, but listen, how Health is wealth and being able to be mindful of what you put in your body is another way to glorify God. So some of y'all, y'all need to get in in tune with your health, in tune with your, your fitness, because a lot of these diseases that we are saying are hereditary, babes, they're not, they're not hereditary. You know what's hereditary? The habits right? The habits are passed down. The poor eating habits, the poor exercising habits are passed down from generation to generation. And we keep falling into those same cycles. And then, you know, inevitably the same medical issues are going to be passed down as well because you eat in the same way big mama did. And you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm not saying this to shame or condemn anybody. I'm just saying this to say that, look, right? You have a relative amount of control over your health, right? You have control over what you put in your body and, you know, how you choose to move your body. And I'm telling you that your body will thank you for feeding it better foods. Your body will thank you for getting up, getting active and going to the gym, working out, investing in the trainer, invest in yourself, y'all. We be spending all this money on our hair. We be spending all this money on our nails, but we feel like, oh, when it comes to the gym, when it comes to a trainer, oh, I don't got time. I'm too busy, but you're going to sit there and and get your braids done for six hours, right? 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 Okay. So I feel like I just came for somebody's edges. I don't know who I came for. I hope nobody feel offended that I'm saying this because I'm really saying this out of a place of love because I used to be in that space too where I wasn't active and I was eating horrible. And I used to wake up every day feeling always tired, always lethargic. My face was always breaking out. I was just always wondering what was going on. My body was just not in the right headspace. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to become a personal trainer and decided to become a, um, a wellness coach. So yeah. I know. I just want that little rant for y'all real quick because I just I'm really passionate about that and yeah. So with that being said, I'm gonna stop talking. Good morning, y'all. Oh, let me say that like. But anyways, um, that's not why I called y'all here. So <laughs> today is December first and um oh, my birthday's tomorrow so yeah and today is friday and i was reading my devotional and i just felt the desire to share it with you guys so i'm going to read the devotional out to you guys the title says within your heart and it says you might think that you know what will make you happy which direction your life is to take but though you can make your plans I determine your steps. Come to me continually for guidance and direction. Only I know how to fulfill your hopes and desires in ways that are in alignment with my will. Your faith in me has placed a new heart with you, within you. <laughs> your joy and happiness will not come from the material world, but solely from the spiritual blessings that I will give you. First and foremost, it's obeying my word that will bring you, I mean, ooh, girl, it's obeying my word that will bring you the greatest happiness that you can imagine. Being at peace with me is what enables you to walk in my will and receive the fullness of my glory. When I am flowing within you, you will experience a deep contentment. It's when you rebel against what I've commanded you or turn away from the way that I've led you that you will experience discontent within your soul. Don't be fooled by temporary pleasures of life. They will lead your heart astray and you will lose out on many blessings 
I have in store for you. There is nothing that can offer you the long lasting happiness that I offer you when you are obedient to my word. So keep it deep within your heart, always desiring to do my will. And the verse is, I desire to do your will, my, my God. Your law is within my heart. Psalms 48. And y'all, I felt this one in my soul, right? I felt this one in my soul. When you, like sometimes we have our own plans and we have our own desires. And sometimes we got to realize that God's plan is better than our plan, right? And as I said previously, you know, God will fulfill the desires of your heart according to his will, right? So if he doesn't fulfill something, it may not be in his will, right? But know that he has something better for you. And it says here that when you walk in his will, that's when you will find that true happiness and that true contentment and peace. Y'all, and it says that when you rebel against his commands, that's when you're going to find discontent within your soul. You're not going to be at peace. Guys, if y'all watched my last vlog, like my two vlogs ago, before I made this move to Texas, I was operating in a place of disobedience. God had put it in my heart to move back in March, y'all. And I, he gave me the way to move in May and I didn't listen to him. And ever since I was in that season of not obeying his commandments and not walking in his will, after that, I did not have one day that I was at peace. Every single day, I was in discontentment. I knew that I wasn't doing something right. I didn't have that true contentment and peace in my heart because I was not in his will and I was not walking in obedience, all right? If you are in a situation and you are in something, a relationship, a situationship, a friendship, an area, and you do not have peace that surpasses all understanding, you don't have contentment, then I'm telling you it is not of God because God God gives you a spirit of peace, love, and a sound mind. And if you ain't got that, baby, that ain't of him. He, he, he ain't the author of confusion, babes. If you confused, <laughs> that ain't of him. That is something, something else, right? So um, I just wanted to share that today because, you know, that really spoke to me. And I really urge you all, you know, if you are wrestling between walking in God's will or following your own free will, I urge you to walk in God's will, even if you don't understand the full picture, because sometimes God is not going to show you the whole picture. He's just going to show you the first couple of steps and he's waiting for you to take the steps. And then once you take those steps, he's going to show you what else he got for you and know that what God got for you is better than what the world got for you or what you got for yourself. So I urge you to walk in obedience and I urge you to walk in God's will for your life. I hope you enjoyed this quick session of the vlog. I am about to go and get ready to hop in the gym real quick and then come back so that I can do this hair, baby, because this birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> Just do this quick little prayer for y'all. And you know, it's December and I'm someone who likes to pray um, at the beginning of the month just to kind of ask God to be with me for the month. It's a new month um, and just for new um, revelation, new blessings, new protection and stuff like that. So if y'all would just bow y'all heads with me and if it's your first time praying, girl, it's okay. You don't got to feel shy. Bow your heads, baby. And I'm going to pray with you, right? So Father God, we come here today and I ask that everybody under the sound of my voice comes in union with this prayer, right? Um, and I ask that you fill up each and every one's room and environment wherever they are listening to this video and listening to this prayer, God. I ask that as we are stepping into this month of December, that you can be present in each and every one of our lives, that you can be with us, God. I don't know what everyone is going through or where they are in their exact moment in life right now, but God, I pray that you can be there with them and that you can cover them, God, that you can guide and that you can protect them, God, that you can help them to steward whatever areas in their life that you've called them to steward, God. If there is anything that you are calling them to do in obedience, God, God, I ask that you gift them with the spirit of obedience to walk in your will and follow what it is that you have for their lives. God, I pray that this month can be a month of abundance. This that could be a month of overflow. That as we are coming to an end of this year, God, I ask that you can allow them to get their house in order. Whatever it is that they're trying to 
realign and get together before the year comes to a close, whatever goals they're trying to accomplish or whatever things that they're trying to prepare for the new year, Father God, I ask that you give them the ability to do so. God, I ask that you bless their health, that you bless their finances, that you bless their friends and family, and that you be there with them every single day of this month. God, I thank you for what you are doing right now. I thank you for the testimonies that you are about to unleash in this moment, in this hour, Father God. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your glory, and we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you on today. Amen and hallelujah. Listen, y'all, prayer changes things. It does something. Like, ah, oh, like, oh, man, if you don't pray, man, I really urge you to start praying. I was talking to one of my um, friends yesterday, and she was really wondering, like, how she wanted to know how to start praying. She wanted to get closer to God, and I'm telling you, there's no blueprint. Listen, if you want to go pray today, girl, go get on your knees, go get, find somewhere quiet, go in your car, your bathroom, your, your prayer closet, wherever it is, and pray, right? And as you get closer with your walking God, you're going to learn how to pray even much better and you're going to feel more comfortable with praying. But yeah, I'm really gone this time, y'all. I'll be back later. <laughs> So, for my gym girls and guys, but mostly the gals, um, if you know you're new to the gym, or even if you've still been going to the gym, do not be afraid to adjust the equipment, right? Because sometimes a common thing that I hear is, "Oh, I'm using a machine, but I'm not feeling it where I'm supposed to feel it," and the reason might be is because you're not properly adjusting the equipment to cater to your height and just your body, right? So oftentimes you'll see a lot of the equipment has like different area points where you can adjust it so that you can make sure it fits comfortable. So take time before you start the exercise to adjust the seat and then sit in it, see how it feels. And if it doesn't feel good, Go back and readjust it because you want to make sure that you're utilizing the exercise to its fullest potential and you're really feeling it where you're supposed to feel it. Another tip for y'all is if, like, if you're doing any type of exercise, but I'm going to just use this one for example, the leg extension. You see how I am bringing the weight up, right? And upon bringing it up, I hold it and then bring it back down slowly. And what that does is essentially increase the time under tension, right, that the muscle is going to be experiencing. Um, and that's how you're gonna see more effective results, especially if you're trying to, let's say, build up your legs, for example. Um, if you've ever been to the gym, you'll see people and they're basically working out like this. And they're just swinging the weight. And that's not okay. That's not an effective way uh, to basically work out like, and really take time to have that mind to muscle connection so that you can feel the squeeze, feel the burn, and really be able to feel what it is that you're working out. So that's just a quick tip for y'all. Y'all, so I hope y'all enjoyed the last gym montage. Um, let me know if y'all want me to post like more gym related stuff. In the okay, y'all. So I am about to go and wash my hair, which is going to take me a couple of hours because I am going to wash, deep condition, blow dry, then straighten. Yeah. So it's gonna take me a couple of hours. Um, so I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna rush. It's my birthday is tomorrow, so I don't want to be feeling like I'm rushing and blah 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 blah. So I'm gonna romanticize it. Probably light a little candle. Um, maybe I'll show you guys a clip of me washing my hair. I mean, like before, like years ago, 
because I'm big on like natural hair. I used to have like a whole natural hair page and I used to document my natural hair journey and everything. And like even to this day, people like ask me like, oh my God, can you show me a hair routine? Cause yeah, I've been wearing my hair in buns a lot. I don't know, this year I've been really lazy the past few months, but like I'm a wash and go girly. I love to wear wash and goes and my curls be popping, but I've been slacking. But you know, people would normally ask me like, oh my God, like what's your hair routine? And stuff like that and somebody recently hit me up on instagram asking me to share my um natural hair routine and stuff like that but um i don't know we'll see i'm gonna see if i'm gonna show y'all a little clip of me washing my hair i'm attempting to do a silk press i bought these natural hair products at the well no i bought these hair products at the beauty supply yesterday and like it's specifically for straightening hair so i'm like hoping that it comes out good like so this is the product i'm using so y'all i am continuing to respond to all of your comments like oh, for real give me a heart give me a heart like put the other side and fulfill the heart because thank you y'all <laughs> I know, I look scary. <laughs> Got my little ice. I'm going to deep condition and I'm gonna read uh, this book right here. Um, it's called Damage by, I mean, Damage but Not Destroyed by um, Michael Todd from Trauma to Triumph. So if y'all are unfamiliar, I mean, if y'all are unaware, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm actually currently on a healing journey um, on healing from within because I have a lot of past pain, hurts, and traumas um, and a lot of childhood wounds that I need to heal within myself before I can fully step into full authority of what my God-given purpose is and I think a lot of us go throughout life and we progress into our 30s, 40s, 50s without addressing a lot of our wounds, childhood traumas, abandonment issues, and everything under the sun and I'm currently in the midst of just working on healing me um, and becoming, you know, the woman that God called me to be from inside out. And that starts from within and then, of course, outwards as well. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to read this book. It's a really good book. I recommend y'all go pick it up. I got it at Target, uh, but I'm sure you can get it on like Amazon or something like that. And yeah, I'm hoping that I can finish this book before the year is over. I am like almost halfway through. So... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh, so I got flat iron <laughs> and the hot dog. Listen, y'all. If you listen, if y'all are black, you know, growing up, you got memories of getting your hair hot combed and your mama using it and heating it up on the stove. You see, but this is like the plug-in one, so I don't got to do no heating up on the stove. But back in the day, that's what you had to do. Heat it up on a little thing in the stove, make sure it's nice and hot. And your mama used to be like, tss, tss, frying all the hair. <laughs> Yo, I have so many like memories of getting my hair hot combed. I used to hate the process, but I used to love how it would come out. So I'm gonna use the hot comb for like the front parts of my hair, the nape, and honestly the roots too. Cause you know, like sometimes with this big flat iron, like girl, you're not gonna be able to really get at the roots like that. So I'm gonna be able to like, you know, get in there and stuff. And I don't know, hopefully this comes out good. dark in here but i just finished like i was in prayer y'all i was in my prayer bag i was praying for like 30 minutes straight 
yeah i'll be praying for a minute i was praying for like 30 minutes y'all because i just wanted to kind of just pray to god just giving him thanks and really inviting him into this next chapter of my life um and just thanking him for allowing me to see another year because yo like a lot of people you know didn't make it you know to see another day right and i'm here and i'm alive and that's a blessing so i had to take time to just give praise and of course there were other things that i also wanted to pray about that i had to just take time to do so and really just got time and just giving thanks and all of that and i just God gave me some revelation on some things that I need to do, um, some things that I need to forgive some people on. And, you know, it's just, I don't know, like when I really just take time to do those deep, thoughtful prayers, that's when I just, oh, I always leave out of it feeling good. But y'all, what time is it? It's 11.37 and I am beat. I am so tired. Um, I'm about to go put some flexi rods in my hair and I'm going to go to bed. Um, but my birthday is, it technically is my birthday in Eastern time, but I'm in Central, so it's technically our birthday, yeah. But I'm gonna just say it's my birthday, because in another time zone, it's my birthday, so. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Cheers, y'all could just cheers with me. If y'all drinking something, it could be water or something. But cheers to more life. Cheers to a new year. Cheers to just what God is about to do. Cheers to the upcoming 2024. And just everything that God is about to do in this season. Um, in my life and just in everybody else's lives that, you know, ah, I'm just thankful and I am blessed and that's about it for y'all. So I'm going to just go take my little birthday slumber and yeah. Y'all, it's your girl's birthday and um, I have like a great start to my birthday. No, I'm being sarcastic, but um, yeah, so the there's like water leaking from like the light in my shower and i think it's like something with the pipes or something like that because a resident just moved in upstairs and i could hear it because now i hear them clicking clocking you know what i mean so and i guess you know they just started showering and i guess there's like some issue that they didn't realize so yeah there's water leaking out of there so uh, i had to call the maintenance people and they came and today's a saturday and normally they don't like work on saturdays so um but he still came and like took out like the light fixture but like the um electric like blew and it went out because you know water was kind of seeping from it so yeah so there is no electricity on uh, um the other side of my apartment so like my room doesn't have any electricity right now the bathroom and my closet doesn't have any lights right now so yeah um that's that so i won't be able oh and they shut off the water too um in my unit just to be safe you know like to prevent any further issues or damages or whatever until they can come back and fix it so that means i um don't i have any water or lights on that side of the apartment or no water at all in the apartment so i can't even use the kitchen and stuff like that so i mean i could cook but there's no water but he told me that like a vacant unit a couple doors down for me so i can use that vacant unit to shower and if i need to like cook and utilize like this kitchen sink and stuff like that i can go to that unit and um utilize it so yeah that's that um but you know i'm really not gonna let it bum me uh just i feel like you know sometimes you know little inconveniences be wanting to happen and then i think like you know that's when it'd be like the true test of like oh how are you gonna let it affect you like are you gonna let it like bother you or mess up your day but i'm not so i'm still gonna remain in good spirits because god is still good and it is my birthday i am here and alive to see another year so that is more than enough of a blessing so yeah we're gonna just honestly roll with the punches and go with the flow and i really hope that i have a good day today y'all can we just have a moment of silence a moment of silence for my hair
Because, y'all, I, I didn't go to no hairstylist. I did this myself. Uh, it's giving body. It's giving, it's giving what it's supposed to give. It's giving healthy, okay? Like, this is one thing that I love about natural hair. Like, you take care of your hair, like, the versatility of it, right? Like, the be able to wear your hair in its curls, but then you could straighten it and wear it like this, and you could wear it blow-dried and just all of that. Like, yo, I... I did that, okay? Listen, if you don't like it, something wrong with you. I, I did that, and I don't even mean to sound braggadocious or anything like that, but damn, baby! <laughs> is that the right thing, girl? It is. But y'all, I just finished getting myself together. I'm about to go get some breakfast real quick at Denny's because I've never had them before but you know they have like the breakfast freebies at like different places so they basically give you like free breakfast for your birthday so I'm like let me go get myself some free breakfast especially with how my morning started like y'all I had to take I went to an, another unit to shower and there was no hot water so I had to take a freezing cold shower like I was in there like <laughs> like freezing but you know what I'm still thankful that at least I had a place to shower and I had a place to get myself together and stuff like that because you know there's people out there don't got nowhere to shower so I am blessed and I am thankful regardless of if it was a cold shower or not so I'm about to go grab myself some Denny's and you know the leasing office called me and they were like they have some flowers for me downstairs so yeah this is the outfit. I'm literally just going to, um, y'all seen this fit before, but I'm literally just going to get me some breakfast real quick. So I just put on something real quick, real cute. y'all i just finished eating at um denny's it was my first time having denny's and it's pretty good you know i, I girl it was free okay so I, you know free always tastes good for the most part you know what i mean so yeah i'm starving so that really curbed my appetite and i'm so thankful that i got that for free so I am about to go back home, I think. Yeah, I am. And then I kind of like chill a little bit. And then I'm gonna like do my makeup and stuff and get ready to go out later. Y'all, I am back. I am dressed. Uh, I did my makeup. I have these little earrings in, this little necklace, like a matching set. Then I have my little dress here. I kept it real cute, real simple. Sometimes I really think, you know, simplicity is key. Okay, it's not about what you're wearing, but who's wearing it. All right, and I think I'm wearing it pretty well. Cause you can never kill my vibe But there is no sacrifice Everything was taken You have to make it Vibe killer Me and the good take shit Vibe
good time today so i'm gonna call it a night guys my bar stools came finally so i might unbox it for you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is gonna be the last day of the vlog but have a good night y'all and i'm gonna see you in the morning this is the fit y'all i might have put my sneakers on right now but i'm gonna head to church and then i'm going to um this self-care festival right after church so i just kind of wore this because i feel like it's transitional and yeah i'm just wearing this bodysuit and then this really comfortable cardigan that i got at one of the um events that i went to last weekend and it's like a small business black owned and i love this cardigan it's giving and then i got my little bag right here all right, we out, y'all. It's time to go to church. My bag too small, so I got the Bible in the hand, okay? Okay. Be a good word. And the text says, and Joseph was forgotten about. I want you to know, sometimes you gotta go through some tests on your way to your purpose. And sometimes you will feel like you have been forgotten. You feel like you put in all the work and don't have the results. You feel like you've done everything you can do, but the prayer is still an answer. You feel like you've tried to prepare yourself, tried to honor God, but the husband still ain't came. You feel like you've done everything you wanted to do, but your career is still at a stalemate. You feel like you wanted to honor God, and yet your life, your children, things still are not where they are. There are moments in your life where you will feel like you are forgotten. I know, I know, maybe you got everything together. Maybe you've never felt that way, but if you live long enough, there are seasons and situations where you feel like, what about me? Anybody see me over here? Anybody, anybody, anybody know? There are moments and times in your life where you'll feel like you are forgotten. I know, I know, I know. There's a moment that God's gonna use to prepare you Beautiful, beautiful. Hold on, let me take these off. I be feeling like I'm too Hollywood. I can't really talk to y'all the way I want to talk to y'all. <clears throat> hey, y'all. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> okay, we're back. Hey, y'all. So I just um, finished eating breakfast. So I went to church this morning at the nine o'clock service, and then I came to this place and got myself some breakfast because, you know, it's still my birthday weekend. So I'm going to treat myself and, you know, take myself out to eat. Church service was really good. I just feel like, honestly, I needed to be at this particular church in this particular moment in time and in this particular season because I feel like the whole series that he is... Um, just speaking on has really been ministering to me has been really speaking to me because I really have been feeling like God is calling me in the season to walk in my purpose and walk in my gift and um and just he's really just the pastor has just been talking he's been talking to me like right it's like he see right through me you know what I mean um so I'm very thankful for God for using the pastor to speak to me and allow me to be planted in this particular church in this moment in time um and allow me to receive that message because I just feel like God is an on-time God and he know where he where you need to be and what 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 you need to hear in order to push you and catapult you into what he's trying to bring you into but yeah so I am heading to this self-care festival um, it's like 10-15 minutes away from here so it's supposed to be basically like similar to the events that I've been going to previously they'll have like vendors and stuff like that but for here I think they're also gonna have like self-care things going on so they're gonna have like massages you can get like your brows done like there's just like different stuff going on they're gonna have like food vendors at this one so I see that they gotta have like Jamaican food so I'm excited for that and I'm excited to go that's one thing that I love about I Texas, I feel like they have like a plethora of these type of events. So like there's always just something to do, you know what I mean? I'm 
Marketplace. So I got this satin lined beanie. So on the inside, it has satin, so it protects like your natural hair. This is the business information. Then I got this sweatshirt that says "Faith over Fear" in the back. This is the business Eat, Pray, Hope, and this is their information. And the front of the shirt says "Eat, Pray, Hope," and then the back says "Faith over Fear." And then I got this um, oh girl, girl, the scented room spray. And it is a clean linen smell. And this is the company. It's Melrose Botanics. And this is their information. And the last thing I got is, then I got these two shirts. And it says, this one says manifesting and minding the business that pays me. And this one says blessed and highly favored. Let me open it up for y'all. So it says blessed and highly favored. Just a regular tee. This is the same, similar tee. just different color and different thing on there. And I think this would be super cute to wear to the gym. And then this is, oh, this is so cute. How they have like the wash instructions. And it's on this little like foldable, I mean, on this little shirt sticker. And then this, I don't have a company. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So these are the bar stools giving what it's supposed to give. Um, and this is what it looks like with the chairs. Is I think it's giving. I like them. So y'all, I just wanted to come here and just end the vlog and I want to say thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end because I know that this vlog is long and I appreciate all of you that have been commenting on my previous vlog and for all of you that have made it to the end and if you made it to the end to this one too, I really appreciate you. Drop a comment below and just feel free again to comment what you like. Um, what you want to see more of if there's specific type of content that you want to see more of um, Drop it in the comments because I want to make this something that you guys enjoy to watch um, And feel like you're getting the most out of it. So comment down below and whenever you're watching this I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and Thank you for taking your time out of your precious day to watch this vlog have a good one. I love you guys.